Students at one Orange County school are back in class right now after a big scare on campus. A 14 year old boy was hurt after lightning struck a tree. That lightning strike happened outside First Academy on Bruton Boulevard, just north of I-4 and John Young Parkway. News 6's Mark Lehman has more on what's being done to keep other students there safe. Today's school administrators say the boy is doing well and recovering from his injuries. He was hurt somewhere in a parking lot here outside of the school while storms were moving in. That's leaving many to wonder about if this could have been prevented. As students and parents returned to First Academy this morning, some were unsure about exactly what happened here yesterday afternoon. Did they tell you anything about it here at the school? Nope, I heard about it on the news this morning. While others say the school kept them well informed. Very, very good about letting us know what happened, that the children were safe. Firefighters say it was an indirect lightning strike that sent a 14-year-old student to the hospital. The teen was standing outside in a parking lot when a bolt struck a tree nearby. I know they have a great lightning alert system. My son told me that he heard it and that he was kept inside. But while some children were kept inside, the student who was hurt was outside. We've learned two lightning alert systems were donated to First Academy last year. The company which monitors them said an alert for lightning came in less than 10 minutes before firefighters were called here. In the hours that followed, the school was careful in releasing information about what they knew and when they knew it, initially saying they're focused on the teen's recovery. I know he's doing great and the school with some of the people who work at the school were at the hospital and um, so from what I've heard, he's doing great. When I spoke to the school this morning, a representative would not specifically answer my questions about the lightning system and why the student was outside yesterday. The only thing they're saying at this point is more information will be released sometime this afternoon. Reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman, News 6.